Hello. I'm going to make this a very, very quick. Wow, this is such a mess. All right. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sherry Lisa here. In today's video, we are going to first acknowledge this hair. So, yes, you did see me probably like two or three weeks ago dyeing my hair. I was so over it. I couldn't get... When it comes to hair and makeup and clothes... I don't care how much other people like it. I have to love it. And I wasn't loving it. And I felt like I was trying to wash it out. So like the dye. It was a whole fiasco. And it was bothering me and bothering me and bothering me. And I was just like let it go. And I couldn't. So then I was like let me just dye it dark brown. A.K.A. turn it looks literally looks black. And when I dyed it black I felt like oh I'm back to me. Which is this is my like probably a little bit lighter than this but my hair is growing tremendously i am excited actually to document for the channel my hair journey and loving it and taking care of it and so um when you are growing your hair out and you have low porosity hair like i do um dyeing it does dry it out it's a lot of maintenance and if you guys don't know i have been blonde um as of last year up to probably like February a little bit I was I was blonde and then it started growing and then I cut it off and I've had a really weird hair journey for about 10 years <laughs> and so I just was like you know this I love black because I feel like it's it's more me and so the dark roots the brunette black whatever you want to call it is where I'm at so we have acknowledged the elephant in the room and let's jump into it I'm probably not even going to edit this I feel like I'm just going to like just throw this on so if it feels a little then roll with it so I am counting out my days to I go back to New York and I'm a shopper of need and wants and so the previous haul you saw me I, I wanted those things but I slash needed it and these are things that are like essential items that um, help you just feel good about yourself as, as a lady and so I went to the uh, beauty supply store in the hood went to walmart and then i went to this random ass shoe store and i just want to show you guys what i got it's nothing really crazy so um i have a victoria's secret credit card i have it because i get free underwear i like the point system and all that stuff but i paid it off and i was just like you know and i'm i want to insert a meme but i'm not editing this video have you ever seen this like meme or gif of like victoria's secret underwear never fits your your vagina your vagina is always like sticking out a little bit and that's kind of annoying so i'm like why should i give them my money why should i continue to participate in them i know savage fenty is like the newest coolest thing but something i don't like about savage fenty and it's no shade because i still want to try them i don't like that you have to pay for something to get a better price i get that there's like the exclusivity and it's it's a package i do want to try it one of these days but Every time I want something, it goes on sale, and then it's like $10 more if you're not a VIP member, and then I miss the sale, and then the plus size session goes like that, and I just, I think I have like a low tolerance for like the trendiness of Savage Fenty, but I like the idea of it. It's weird, and so I think once I get past that, I'll probably participate, but your girl is an old school mommy, and I tr just went to Walmart, and I ended up getting underwear, so I got a, a nine pack, a six pack, and a six pack, and another six pack, so I got briefs cotton briefs and then i got high cuts i like to have a different pair just for like different ladies i think it's very important that you have a really nice underwear section right it's summer and while yes i do still have my victoria's secret and i have my like sexy for like that sexy time and that sexy wear to make yourself feel really good it's summer so if you're hanging out with the homies and you got on like a cute pair of shorts that don't show your underwear or don't have the line then i think briefs are a good option these were i think 950 or something like that so wait nine six twelve fourteen so i get 25 yeah i got 25 underwear for 30 bucks you know it's about a dollar something a pair i got a whole a bunch of black them black ones so that i could just like been be you know very I love me a colorful underwear but they don't always go with everything and so i just wanted to have some options i will be throwing all of these in the washing machine before i get out of here but um all of the brands okay i got fruit of the loom and then two of the the pairs that i got um are hanes if anybody was wondering um i'm a huge fan of shopping online and doing in store but i needed to see what i wanted because the last pair of underwear that i got 
from Walmart. I bought a one pack because I needed to meet the $30 um, free shipping threshold. And they were extra large. And then extra large, I think, is like a certain... Wait, did I get bigger than I needed? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so... No, I... I think I might keep these. So these are extra large 14-16. And then these are size 9, which are for 16 to 18. I like to have options because I don't like when they wear feel tight. But I also don't like them to be baggy either because you know when you wash them they kind of lose it, it's a, it's elasticity over time so i'm gonna take a risk with these underwear and we're gonna move the fuck on okay so next i needed some like um tops that were cute these also have stretch um the funny thing about this these shirts were i got three of them in colors that i knew i was gonna wear they were two dollars and 88 cents sometimes for the summer because i'm obviously past like the next two months or so i probably won't be wearing this but i just needed a tank top because i know when i go back to new york and i'll be out or just like doing stuff around the house or whatever this is mostly to just go out i've got like olive green i love olive green for some reason it's like really cute to me and then you have to have a classic white tee which you know for 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 the fit you know whatever that was two dollars and then i had to get a girly one <laughs> and i got this bright pink which i think is super cute i have no idea what i will wear it with but i'm not one of those shoppers i like to buy what works for me and turn in instead of buying what's with the rest of my closet because sometimes the mood you in switches up the fit and jeans and da 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 i still have shit over there no okay and then so i had bought some nike socks i went back to nike by the way i returned those reacts wasn't a fan um they were hurting my foot and then the back i started it started scraping and now i'm with, it's been going on two weeks my burn mark basically is healing it's got that scabbiness i was like hell no and i bought them for 24 dollars. i ended up spending a little bit more and i end up getting a pair of zoom pegasus and they're good for working out and that's essentially just what i needed so i bought some nike socks i think they're like um i don't know if anyone knows a lot of the outlets are kind of like B, I forgot the name of it, but it's some, if somebody please comment, subscribe, like, comment, share on my page, but comment below if anyone knows, when you go to the actual store, they make their product, but outlets are like the B grade stuff. And so a lot of the socks that I got, I felt they're the, the string that like makes it together fell off and it was kind of bothering me. And I was like, you know, essentially you need socks right especially with the winter time coming and i didn't like that it was coming apart and so instead of complaining i just was like maybe i shouldn't get nike socks stop trying to be bougie bitch <laughs> so i ended up getting these hanes so i got six ankle socks the reason i like these because um they were my size so they're size women's eight to twelve they're eco smart and they got arch support comfort toe and odor control and it keeps it cool so I'm not a huge fan of white socks at all, but I love gray and black, and so there's literally a little bit of each. I bought these for 10 bucks. I thought this was really, 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 really good. You know, you need just summery, cool, like, I'm about to wait. The heat's not going to go away until, like, mid-September, the way that things are moving at this point. And then the last thing, oh, I'll show you one more thing. I got these cute little leggings. These were 444 four dollars and 44 cents and they match with the sports bra that i bought from um nike and then uh, the last thing that i will show you from walmart is i got these necklaces which were two dollars and 88 cents um the reason that i gravitated towards it was because oh this one's extra long so one i really like oops I really like um the design or whatever this is uh elephant so it's you know kind of like lucky or whatever and i'm trying to have gold jewelry and silver jewelry and then i got this one come on i got this one and then i got this little like fake diamond across it yeah so i like to just have options those are 288 and then that was everything from walmart the last thing is when i left i saw this like shoe store you know, I'm a huge fan. You should get. I like to get quality stuff. 
and I think it's important that you spend money on things that you know that will be long lasting but also live within your means too and so budget and so I've been needing like some black summer sandals that I could like hang out but they're not super duper 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 flat because those are terrible I have a high arch and I constantly need support and I live in sneakers but my toes is cute and I'm trying to make both sides of me happy so i got these little sandals from this place called shoeland i don't think they have a website i think they only have one location i couldn't believe they even had my size and the size 11 fits my foot perfectly from beginning to end and so they had army fatigue and they had leopard print and i just got black just because i know myself i'm probably gonna get over the army fatigue someday but just not today and i don't want to like feel like i have to wear green or black and so um i had tried on the army fatigue one and it looked really no i tried the leopard one and it looked really cute and i just like that this is is like your nice little traditional like they're not jesus sandals but they're like trendy jesus sandal if you know what i mean okay and then from the beauty supply store hopefully my homies don't see this i got my friends a little bit of a, a little gift um i'm not gonna show it well they'll, they'll maybe they, i don't know whatever so i got my friends my besties uh all the same <laughs> I'm silly like that and I got one for my mom because it's her birthday's coming up too. I love butterflies And so I just purchased like four of these ankle bracelets um, I'm pretty sure you can't get these wet. I always take off all my jewelry But for sure I always take off my ankle bracelet and so I just got my besties when I see them they'll see it. they'll they'll see it So you're just not gonna show up on camera. Okay, cool <laughs> So yeah, I got that and then so you guys know I'm growing my hair out and a bitch is like a little trend. And so I'm like, one of these days I'm going to be able to put like a clip in here and like clip it back. <laughs> have a style. I thought it was so cute. They had these for like two bucks. There is, it's weird because it has like, I thought I was just paying for this. Hold on. Yes. Okay. We're here. And I don't know, it has two, two clips in there. And then the last one on these, a bitch always need lashes and so i got um the i envy individual lash this is a remover are you fucking kidding me bitch i thought this was lash glue this is not lash glue are you freaking kidding me I bought lashes though. These are the I Envy Invisible. They are human hair. They were $3.99. I'm so annoyed. I have to go back. These are really, really fluffy. Um, number three Remy. So you're not gonna okay. So yeah, I like fluffy lashes like that. I don't like when they I can I'm gonna make a video about lashes because ladies, we really have to check ourselves. But I need to go and exchange this because I do not want um, lash remover. I need to get lash glue. Um, so yeah, let me get the receipt out so I can go. So that wraps up this video, guys. I know it's kind of like spur of the moment. I kind of like doing spur of the moment ones because I feel like when I when I get into the editing mode, I want to like cut out certain things and sometimes sporadic is just where it at, uh, where it's at. So next time you'll see me, I will probably be in New York. I'm trying my best to upload as much as possible, but sometimes I gotta save my money. I will probably be back for like a Fenty video because I do plan on buying all of the Fenty skincare. So I should probably save my money. And then what else? Yeah, I will probably do a beat beat sometime within like the next month. Um, but I don't want to like promise, over promise and then not deliver it because I'm not that kind of person. I kind of go with the flow when it comes to this channel. So I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And as always, love you. Ha <laughs> ha.